Hey everyone, Gene here with Mahalo.com. Traditional artists go through thousands of brushes over the course of their lifetime. Photoshop attempts to simulate many different types of illustration and painting tools. While you can create an almost infinite number of brush styles, Adobe starts you off by presenting you with a few options. These can all be accessed in the Brush Presets panel. So the first thing we need to do is open up the Brush Presets panel. We do this by going to the Window menu and selecting Brush Presets. So the first thing we see is the presets themselves. Over on the left hand side is an image of what the brush looks like. And then on the right hand side we have a simple stroke using that brush. This way you can see before you make your selection what each brush does for you. Once we select a brush from the panel here, we can change the size of the brush by moving this slider. We can do the same thing by coming into the canvas area here and right clicking. And this actually brings up kind of a miniature version of our brushes panel. We can adjust the size here as well as the hardness. 100% uh, hardness will give us a brush with strong solid edges. 0% hardness will give us a softer brush. These icons that you see here are basically images of brushes that you would find if you go to an art store. One of the cool features of these brushes is if you have a Wacom tablet, you can select one of these brush styles. I just brought down the size a little bit. And that makes active a small icon right down here in the bottom of the brush presets panel. This is the bristle brush preview icon. If we click on that, it brings up another window that we can then move around. And when you have your Wacom tablet uh, or any other graphics tablet, as you bring your pen closer to the tablet, it's going to show you how your pen is positioned relative to the tablet face. It's also going to show you the pressure, the further and harder you push down. As you make your stroke, it's going to show you what angle your pen is being held at. And this will help you to see what the actual bristles on the brush that you've selected are doing onto the canvas. You can also use the side of the brush. Or you can aim the brush straight at the canvas for a finer line. In this case, the brushes are relatively thick and I have a large size, so it's not going to be extremely fine, but compared to the, using the side of the brush, you can see we're getting different results. This is one of the cool new features of Photoshop. It's uh, recent to it. Moving on, if we look right next to the size area, we'll see the icon to toggle the brush panel. Now this panel goes hand in hand with the brush presets, and when we talk about this a little bit later, we're going to show you how you can create your own brushes using the various options that are included in the brush panel. For now, we're going to close this though. In the panel menu area, you find several different groupings of brushes. Assorted brushes, basic brushes, calligraphic brushes. Selecting any of these options is going to bring up a new dialog where we can append, cancel, or hit OK. What append does is it adds the brush set that we just selected to the current set that's open. So if we hit append, you'll see that our slider bar here shrunk a little bit and that's because all of the brushes from the set that we just chose have appeared at the bottom of the set that was already open. So if we open up a different set and then we just select OK, it's going to erase all of the brushes that we have open and replace them with the set that we just selected. One of the great aspects of most of these presets panels that we're going to find in Photoshop is that we can set up our own set of tools. I'm going to go through and delete a few of these brushes and show you how to create a new brush set. All right, so once we have the exact set of brushes that we want to keep and use in a different time, uh, we're going to come over here to the panel menu and just click on Save Brushes. That's going to open up the Save Brushes dialog, and here we'll be able to type in a new name, and we'll be able to decide where we want to save it. In most cases, you just want to leave it in the default folder because as you can see, Adobe opened up the Brushes folder. If we ever transfer from computer to computer, uh, we can just come into the brushes section and then take all the brushes here that we've saved, copy them to the new computer, and then they'll be there for us. I'm just going to leave all this as a default and hit save, and then I'm going to come back up here to the panel menu. I can select load brushes, and then there's our brush presets that we've just saved. The load option is always going to append the brushes to the end of whatever brush set you have open. So you can see here we just loaded our brushes, and each one of these is an exact duplicate of the ones that are above them, 
So if we were to open up one of the other pre-made sets, like say the special effect brushes here, and we'll just replace the current brushes with the brushes from special effects, and then we go ahead and load our brushes. Once again, it's going to appear right at the bottom of the current list. Well, that's all for now. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below, and send any questions that you might have to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks for watching.